So guys, like I've said before, I buy a whole lot of tools. Seems like I'm buying something constantly. As an addition to Road Beer Garage, we're gonna start doing some tool reviews. So everything I, every time I buy something new, I will review it on this channel. If it's something you guys don't want to see, please leave me some comments and tell me stop this. You don't want to see that. You want to see the truck. If you kind of like to know both, you don't want to see what I'm doing with the truck, know the tools that I'm using and what I think of them, then by all means, hit that subscription, hit that notification bell, and tell me what's going on. Tell me what you like. I haven't been making a ton of videos. Matter of fact, I've just now got all my brake lines bent. Or, well, I don't even have them bent yet. I've got them all measured. They're under the truck. All my flares are made. They all look good. Made it with a uh, new double flare kit. The premium I bought from Harbor Freight. Um, I'm like anybody else, you know. Harbor Freight's kind of that, you know, they're not a great tool, but... If you're only going to use it once or twice a year, what's the point in paying thousands of dollars for tools when you can buy for hundreds, right? So, you know, I've been burnt with a few Harbor Freight tools, and there's been a few that have been truly awesome for what I need them for. What made me kind of think about this is, so there's three or four tools that I use all the time, Harbor Freight. And they've, they've saved me a great amount of money. And one of them I haven't purchased new two very long ago, and that is this 12 ton press, which I mounted on a toolbox, and it's kind of got stuff all over it. But this thing has been so handy around the shop. Would I like to have a little bit larger one? Absolutely. But this one's small enough, honestly, that it's portable. I can put it on top of this box. I can still reach it. If I need to step up on something, I can. But it's easy to one hand. I can move it with one hand. And it's done pretty much everything I've needed to do so far. So I really have to give the 12-ton hydraulic shop press a thumbs up for what it is. Again, another thing that I use that is very handy for me. And again, it's something that had I bought a good name brand, it would have been several dollars more. Because I got a small, and it's full of dust, four ton porta power kit. You know, it comes with several different adapters. So you can spread with it. The spreader came in handy as hell when I was doing my leaf springs. Everything in this kit has been extremely useful and I've not yet had any issue at all. So again, that's another one that, that's probably on my top three for purchases from Harbor Freight. One of the others that I've bought there and I need to buy some more are wheel dollies. Now I've bought the heavy duty ones and these things have been around for years now. I've bought these, oh, I would guess at least 10 years ago. And I can put them on anything, roll stuff around. They're heavy enough that they hold it. These are definitely one that I would recommend. There's some newer tools that I've bought. You know, I bought the Creeper, which seems to be fine. This little roll around chair is fine. <coughs> but when it really comes down to it, the three tools I just talked about are things that I use regularly. And I mean, much more than I ever thought I would use them. When if I'm going to Harbor Freight and there's a few tools that I could pick up and be comfortable with, the port of power, the press, and the wheel dollies. Again, I'm gonna get some more dollies because I'd like to put four on this truck and be able to roll it around. I've gotten great service out of those three things. I can't complain about them at all. Hey guys, just a quick reminder. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, subscribe notifications, leave me a message.